Scorpio, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout your reading. I'll be using both of my decks here, the Modern Day Seers Tarot and Oracle, as well as my Yummy Tarot. So this one is Tarot with the Twist, and basically what that means is it includes all of the usual tarot messages, but it also has Oracle messages as well as new court cards in this deck. So just FYI on that. So let's get started here, Scorpio, and see what it is that you need to know at the time that you are watching this reading. So let's grab some insight here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. All right, so we are starting off with the Angel of Mercy. Life has brought you down to your knees. The universe shows you mercy. The love you've been searching for, yearning for, has eluded you thus far. I'm here to let you know that it's time to rise, to get back up, claim your ascension within your own life, to help you take that first step towards a brighter future. All right, so if you've been going through some challenges at this point in time, Scorpio, this is basically letting you know that you will be able to ascend from that experience. You will be able to move forward from it. The universe has your back and ultimately leading you towards the right kind of love connection where you really can find happiness for yourself. Let's see what else. What else here? So this is the next card. We've got the Seven of Cups. This is giving you choices. This is giving you opportunities to make different decisions for yourself to be able to help you find purpose in your life okay especially when it comes to your love life let's go ahead and see what else we can find out here for you scorpio what else all right so we have the Duke of Fire. This is one of the new court cards in this deck. This represents divine masculine fire sign. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So take that if it applies divine feminine, if your masculine happens to represent fire energy. Okay, so this is someone in the upright. It's coming through. Someone who's not afraid to take risks. Somebody that knows that they need to take action in order to manifest something. This is someone who is a leader. You know, they don't want to stay in the back seat. This is somebody who, who is wanting to take action, who wants to be able to do things rather than just being on the sidelines watching. Okay, so this could be a masculine who knows that they have to make a different choice or better decisions in order to find that happiness that they're wanting and looking for. Look at this. We now have the lover's card. You could also be dealing with a Gemini right here, Scorpio. So interestingly enough, the seven of cups as well as the lovers, they both represent choices. All right. Just perhaps having way too many options, too many choices that with this particular person, probably a divine masculine who couldn't seem to hone in on the right choice because there were just too many options there you know but this right here represents love it represents romance the sexual attraction the fact that you guys might have represented union and an ideal partnership at one point in time but because of what we're seeing here more than likely we have challenge we have a separation that might have happened okay but despite all that We've got the chariot. You could also be dealing with a cancer here. You could both be water sign Scorpio, okay? So either a cancer, you guys could both be Scorpios as well. We do have Pisces also that could be coming forward. We do have water representation with the cups, okay? So it does seem that things can move towards a much better direction where you guys can overcome the difficulties of any challenge that you might be facing. Of course, that can apply to your love life, but we're also focusing on other areas of your life here, Scorpio. It could be tied into your work environment, your friendships, your family life. Okay, it could be all of that. But this right here represents triumph and success, as well as the Six of Wands, which is the next card. 
So we do have sixes that are popping up and sixes represent growth. Okay. So six of wands, success, victory, that winning attitude. So there's something here that's propelling you forward to, as again, to be able to get up, to be able to rise above, you know, the, the opening line for the angel of mercy is life has brought you down to your knees and life is also wanting to direct you onto a different path for you to be able to get up and make something of the choices that you've made in order to be able to lead you down a much stronger path where you can be happy, where you can be successful, where you can be triumphant, as we can see here. And this has a lot to do, I feel, with your love life, but it, it brings everything else in that I've mentioned, you know, work life, um, your relationship with your friends, your relationship with your family. Okay. So we do have the three of swords. Part of the reason why things have been challenging for some of you, you could have gotten involved in a very challenging connection. Could have been a love triangle. It could have been a lot of drama. There could have been something that hurt you deeply or you ended up doing the hurting. It really depends on how this unfolded in your life. You know, seven of cups right next to the three of swords, having way too many options in love and romance and ultimately making poor choices that could have led towards a separation, very painful breakup. You know, somebody could have also been very depressed a result of the separation here. We do have the ace of cups. Now for some of you, this is giving you the opportunity to start again in love. That could be a brand new person. It could be a new love, but this could also be a new beginning for those of you wanting to reconcile, wanting to make different choices to come back together. Okay, let's see what else. We do have the crystal of earth that's coming forward. We do have the divine masculine coming in as the king of cups. So crystal of earth, it's time to get your head out of the clouds and focus on what's happening around you. Be careful what you're investing your energies in. Don't chase fool's gold. You're the real deal. What you're looking for is someone who recognizes your worth and the brightness that exudes within you. Don't settle for anything less than what you're worth. So that is huge advice here for you, Scorpio. Don't settle for anyone that doesn't recognize that worth within you. Okay. And then we do have the King of Cups, a masculine who is very loving and caring and affectionate. Their heart is open to you, Divine Feminine. And so perhaps, as I've mentioned, we might have had a third party going on here and maybe it was the feminine that was torn between, you know, either a spouse, a committed partnership and a third party, you know, but it's ultimately your choice, but clearly I'm seeing here that poor choices could have been made because it resulted in a separation, a breakup, and it was very hurtful. It was very painful. Check this out though. We've got two aces. We already have the ace of cups coming through. We've got the ace of wands. We've got the ace of pentacles. And clearly there was a situation here where you guys had a tower moment. It fell apart the lost foundation of the connection. It resulted in a separation. So you're being given another opportunity to start again, to learn from this, to learn the lessons behind that tower experience and to use those lessons and to come forward and to emerge as a much better person who's learned those lessons so that you can avoid the pitfalls of what you've experienced already. You know, so it's, it's giving you a chance to start again. This could represent a new beginning in love. Of course, it could represent a new opportunity in your work environment. Also improved finances. This is the need to be able to find your passions in life. You know, what really feeds your soul. We also have the ore of fire coming through. It's time to get moving. Follow your passions. Exactly. Follow your passions, goals, and dreams that light a fire under your feet and propel you forward in life. You've sat on your laurels for long enough. So many opportunities are presenting themselves to you. Pay attention and take advantage of all of these amazing blessings. 
take no action and miss out. It's your choice, Scorpio. So remember, you've got the Seven of Cups right here. You've got so many options, so many choices to make, but not every single one of those options or choices are good ones. So you need to choose wisely. Okay. And bottom of the deck, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So that's a great thing that's coming through. You're destined to be able to work all of this out. This does represent good luck and good karma. It does represent some major changes that are coming into your life, a new cycle perhaps, being able to finally win in love and life. It's a turning point for you. All right. So despite tower moments and some of the challenges, you will be able to rise above all this. All right. So let's go ahead and grab one more set of cards from my yummy tarot deck here for Scorpio. Angels and spirit guides, please. What else do we need to know? Look at that, guys. We're starting off once again with the Seven of Cups. So that's a huge mes message, if I can speak, message <laughs> coming in for Scorpio. You've got lots of choices, lots of opportunities here. You do have the Eight of Wands representing fast movement. So things can finally start moving forward for you the moment you decide which one of these cups is what it is that you want to focus on. Let's see what else. Look at that, guys. We've got the Wheel of Fortune coming through again. I'm telling you, something's changing. Something's turning around for the better here for you, Scorpio. The old narrative is in the past. Focus on what it is that you can implement moving forward and to be able to turn things around for you. Look at this, guys. You've got the star. All right. So hopes, wishes that can manifest in the 3D, you're being guided towards a completely different path from what you've traveled before. So remember, we've already seen the King of Pentacles, but look at what's next. We do have the Hangman. So these two cards for me, I feel Divine Feminine, you had to let a particular person go in order to concentrate on either an existing partnership or a marriage. You know, it could have been somebody exuding the qualities of the King of Pentacles, which is actually a nice quality. But if it's coming in as a third party, then that's a challenge that might have resulted in the tower. So you had to let go of this person. You needed to distance yourself in order to get a better understanding of what it is that you needed to work on. Okay. And once you did that, look at this six of wands, victory, success. So if you're not there yet, just know that this is a part of your destiny, a part of your journey. Once you start eliminating some of the poorer choices that are before you, we do have the ace of wands. So there is good news on the horizon for this situation. You and your person have the opportunity to really create something much better moving forward. Okay, so try to get away from challenging situations that bring you guys into this space of the Five of Swords where you're bickering and you're arguing and you're disagreeing. Okay, some of you could also be dealing with a Capricorn right here, the Devil's Energy, Temptations, Bondage, you know, unhealthy attachments, tapped into the Shadow Self. So that's something perhaps that you need to stare clear from and distance yourself from it if you haven't already. We do have the Hierophant here representing the fact that some of you might have already been committed elsewhere or being able to commit to yourself and your own journey moving forward in order to find what it is that you're looking for, especially when it comes to love. We do have the Four of Wands representing a Twin Flame connection here. So that's beautiful the way that's coming through. This right here also represents our 1111 number in tarot. That could be a wish that's manifesting. It's letting you know that finally you're on the right track when it comes to your love life and just life overall, Scorpio. All right, so I will leave that there. Hopefully there's something in the messages that resonate with you. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box, as well as the action buttons at the end of this reading. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.